Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little heart pendant. It's quite a quick one to make. And you had used one wire for the main piece. Put a list in the description below of everything you'll need. And as always, I've included links to my Facebook and my Instagram. There's also a link to my Etsy shop, which I've put on the screen, which is www.kellyjonesjewelry.com. And that's where I sell all my written tutorials, if anyone's interested in those pages of pictures that you just follow along at your own pace. To make this pendant, you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge. And I've got one length at 10 inches, that's 25.5 centimetres and one length at four inches, which is 10 centimeters. For this one, I'm using a little drilled, there goes my bead, a little drilled cab. So it's a heart-shaped cab, cabochon that's drilled from top to bottom. There is a guy on Facebook who makes these and drills and I'll put his details below. I've got a little bead that's gonna keep escaping. That's, um, I think that might be a 10 millimeter bead, so either an eight or a 10. You can use any size bead you want, that's just an extra little dangle for the bottom. It's not gonna stay there, is it? Aha. And I've got a jump ring. You can use any size jump ring you like. Mine's eight millimeter outside measurement tools. I've got my pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters. I always like to have these to hand me nylon pliers. Don't worry if you haven't got these, you probably won't even see me use them, I just like having them there for straightening wires, flattening weaves, any adjustments I like to do with the nylon pliers. I no longer put links to my tools below in the description, but I, do, I have put a list of what I'm using. Generally use Tronics because they're really good and they do last long. They last longer than all the other, I've managed to kill them quite quickly. But these Tronics have really lasted me so far. They're doing well. So find the center of your, your long wire, well, cut your wires to the, the length that I've said and then find the center of the longer wire and position that in your round nose pliers about there. So I'm just going to make a loop um, but you don't want a tiny loop, you want a kind of medium sized loop. keep that in there actually and then I'm going to take the wire I've just wrapped around and wrap it around that wire so I've got a loop looped it around the pliers and then I've wrapped it around I've wrapped the one wire around the other one so one wire comes straight up and the other wire goes to the back so the wire that comes straight up is the one I'm going to thread the bead on to calling it a bead now my heart cabochon and the one that goes to the back is going up the back of the bead, the heart. Bend it over the stone. And my stone's quite thick at the top. So I've got to bend it over the stone and then straighten it up for my wires to sit next to each other. So I hope you can follow what I've done, I've done that a bit quick. So the front, this is the front, and the back is where the wire's gone up the back. So we 
we're going to work across the two wires now that's why we want them sat next to each other I forgot to mention weaving wire it is late in the day so you're going to need some weaving wire and I reckon you'll need probably about 100 centimeters of wire mine onto a bobbin if you don't have a bobbin you can just cut lengths as you go I love to use a bobbin it just stops the the wire flailing about so take your weaving wire and now working over these two wires we'll start with three wraps around that bottom wire And then we'll wrap three times around both wires. And that's our little repeat. Three wraps around the bottom wire. Three wraps around both wires. And you want to do that about 12 times. So I've done that, that little weave. I'm just trying to clip that tail end off from the beginning. It's a bit tricky to get to. Oh, come on. Gotcha. So keep pushing your weave together as you go. And we're going to pull this weave over to the right at the base, push it over to the right and we're going to carefully bend it over to the left, put a nice big bend in it so we're doing like a loop. And you want your weave to now finish right at the top of the stone because I'd like to just wrap around the actual back of the weave just to hold it together nice and tight and then carry on add a few more weave repeats so we've just attached it to the back there. So I've done a few more of that weave. And then what I'm going to do is bring this wire, this inner wire, Loop it around and then loop that one around just to follow it. I've just bent it around and then sent the other one to follow I want the bottom of the wires to be wide apart there we want that shaping so I'm gonna wrap three times around the wire that I've just looped and then I'm gonna go three times around the both wires so I've sort of carried on that weave a little bit just so you can see it goes over that part and then here the wires will come apart at the bottom we're going to do a different weave now just to cross that last little bit so I'm going to come up between the two wires and I'm going to wrap 
five times around that wire. And then I'm going to pull it down on this side. Pull it down as low as it'll go. And I'm going to do five wraps on this side. Then pull it down and do five on that side. And that's what we're going to keep doing. Two, three, four, five. Keep pushing it together. Then we pull it down and we go around this one five times. So it's five wraps over the opposite wire. Five wraps and then over the opposite wire. So always wrap five times and bring it up the middle over the opposite wire. And we'll just keep going until we reach the end of the stone and keep pushing it together. So I've done my five and I'll go over the opposite side. When you've reached the end of the stone there, I'm just going to keep adding coils to this single wire just a little bit further. And then I'm going to cut that wire. I'm just pushing the wire across the stone a bit there. So now this wire needs to sit at the base of that loop there. Because I'm going to take that wire, holding it in place at the front there, I'm going to take that wire around the loop. I think I'll bring it above like that. And then where it meets that wire, I'm going to cut it. And squeeze it. Nice and tight around that loop. And this wire now goes over to the back. You don't want to let this come together because it will crimple all your, your weave. I don't know if crimple is a word. I've just made it up. But this wire then comes across the back. And there's my and this one's gone right and it's going to go behind this wire so we need a little gap come on i just need a little gap behind this wire there we go so i can get that wire around there so this wire is going to go around there and as i'm tightening it you don't want to pull it down because it'll squash your weave I'm going to cut it, makes it a bit easier and then using round nose pliers I'm going to try and scoop it under that wire, that's the one and I'm going to keep checking the front so I don't squash that weave trying to pull together there so I've got to try and keep it higher That's it, that's all I want it to do. So I shall cut the tip off that and squash that tight around there. Make sure there's no sharp ends. So that's the bulk of it done. Quite a quick one for you this week. 
I like this design, I think it's quite cute. We're all done with my bead now. So I'm just going to pop my jumping on, make some change. I'm doing it in this order. So I do jumping goes on the top there. I'm using an old pair of pliers to just pop the jumping on with. Well, I've closed that rubbish, haven't I? So that's the main piece done. I just need the little dangle now. So to make this dangle, you're going to need a shorter piece of wire and your bead. So pop your bead on. And you're going to have the bead quite close to the one end. And the other end, I'm going to make nice and flat. Like that. And then I'm going to wrap it around the beads. So I'm coming past the front of the wire where it join, where it goes in. And I go all the way around the other side. Then I go to the front of the wire at the bottom. And I keep going around. And then when I come back to this wire, I'm going to take it around that wire. So you've got to have strong fingers to do this. So I've wrapped it twice around that wire there. Cut that off. There's my is gone. I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit around there, just squeeze it in place. And I'm gonna take my nylon pliers and I'm just gonna flatten where that wire comes out the bead. I'm just gonna squeeze that so it's flatter against the bead. So the front is when it's on the front of the, the joint, the the wire that comes out. This is the front here, and then I'm gonna bend it, grip it with my around those pliers, and then bend the wire around the pliers. I made a loop on the top. There, so it finishes the loop. And that's going to attach to the bottom loop. So my loop needs to be that way. So I'm grabbing the whole piece. And I'm twisting it. So now my loop is facing the other way. And then I'm going to take my pliers and open my little loop. I'm going to do it with two pairs of pliers so I don't misshape it too much. So I've got the front to the front and then I'm going to grab it right on the end and bend it back. So there we have it cute little heart pendant with a nice little dangle so that's a nice little project if you fancy some make something quick thanks for watching
please subscribe if you haven't already and please mention me when you're um, sharing your work online thanks guys see you in the next one